Okay, so welcome to a quick demo of Autodesk 123 d Design. Um, I'm looking at doing a Christmas tree decoration. Christmas tree decoration. The idea here is to do something that's fairly simple and that would appeal to perhaps a primary or junior school um, sort of child and level of operation. So I'm assuming that there'd be some teacher assistants here um, and maybe some finishing with the students. But let's um, let's start and. Um, you get over here, I want to start by talking about the navigation. If I can click and just sort of move this around. I'm using a Mac to do this, though this software is available on the iPad and it's worth mentioning that it's free of charge, so um, that's a good thing. I want to start up here not by using the primitives, which allows me to instantly draw a cube or a sphere or a cone and a donut, etc. I'm going to instead go to the sketch tool um, and I'm going to go along to a polyline. Once I click that, it's going to ask me where I wish to draw. And in this circumstance, I want to draw on the graph paper, of course. Um, and I'm going to start off by clicking at the top here. Uh, and I'm going to drag a line down. Click again. Move in a bit. Click again. Click there. Move in. Click there. And uh, hopefully you get the idea that this is a kind of Christmas tree shape. I'm going to come along and try and do the mirror version of that. Uh, so I think that's there, out to there, click once more. When I finish drawing the shape, you'll notice it gets coloured in to select that I've got a completed uh, shape as such. There are no leaks or gaps where the, uh, it, the fill would leak out effectively. So there I have a kind of base Christmas tree shape. Excellent. So. What I'm going to do now is go over here and I'm just going to sort of rotate it around a little bit so I get a bit of a 3D view. Then I'll go back to the top tools here. I'm going to move along from the primitive um, model tools and the drawing tools to the construct tool, at which point I've got a number of options, the first one being extrude. I have others out of interest, sweep, revolve and loft. Um, but at the moment, construct and the extrude tool is, is really where, where you want to start. So I'm going to click that, click on the drawing, little arrow pops up here and by literally clicking on the arrow and holding down and dragging I can extrude or put out a three-dimensional object from that sketch and I you can see here on the right I've got a distance I can go in here and type and say hey I want that to be four millimeters and it'll make it so okay so let's go back to the top view just by clicking on the word top there I can just zoom out a little bit and as a Christmas tree decoration, I need to make something to hang at the top here. So I'm going to go into the primitives. I'm going to select this torus. And automatically, it gives me this kind of donut ring shape. So I'm just going to click that, drop it on the graph paper. It's a little bit big. So I'm going to go back in, select scale, and just click the arrow and just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Hit return. I also get this move tool. I can either use the arrows to keep it moving in a singular plane. Um, or I can just click in the middle here and that allows me a more sort of free positioning. So I'm going to place it right at the top here, somewhere in the region of, say, there. Um, I use the pan tool over here on the right, which allows me to move around the paper. And then again, just to make sure that's absolutely in the right position, I'm just going to click on the cube, hold down, and just sort of drag it across and I get a three-dimensional sort of view of it. If I click the right side, you can see that at the moment it's just a little bit higher. So I'm going to go back to this sort of thing and just just move it so that it's there we go it's right in the middle I can click on this arrow up here which will return me to the top view I can zoom out a little bit I've also got these arrows which allows me to rotate round and there we have a kind of little Christmas tree decoration which would actually take about I don't know maybe 30 minutes to print on a 3d printer it's quite small um, but of course we want to personalize it so I'm going to go up to the text tool here click that. I'm going to click on my drawing. I'm going to put a rough position in there. Up pops a bit of text. I'm going to say, put my initials on there, JB. Uh, the height of that's a bit, you know, it's probably good enough actually. It's about the right size. I can go in here and make it larger um, or of course I could make it smaller, but I'm going to go back and put 10 millimeters in. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go back up here to the move tool. And I'm just going to put my initials right in the in the bottom here. So there we go. Now if I go back to a 3D view, just sort of swing it around, maybe zoom in a little bit if I want to, go back to the construct tool, accept the extrude again, click on the letters, click on the arrow and drag, 
and I could just drag up a little two millimeters there. Again, I could type this figure in if I wish to, but I'm I'm happy to do it visually. Um, hit return, um, and you'll now see that I have again. I can swing that around a little kind of my initials extruded on top of the um, the Christmas tree or the bottom of the Christmas tree. If I go back to the top, um, now. At the moment, these are separate objects. I, I drew the letters JB on the Christmas tree part, so it's automatically drawn on there and part of it. But this torus at the top, the ring bit that's going to hang it, this is a separate item. So to combine the two together, I can go to the top here. I can either group them, but uh, which means I can edit the components later, or I can just combine them. So I'm going to go down there, select Merge. It's going to ask me to select the first object I wish to merge second object I wish to merge, hit return, and now they're one item. Now if I go to transform and select move, and just move this to one side, you'll notice that the original sketch is still there. So I could, I've got this original template. I don't actually need it anymore, so I'm just going to drag over that and get rid of it. Um, I can then use the pan tool over here just to sort of bring that back in the middle. and. There we have it. Uh, we have a little Christmas tree decoration. We could put more text on there if we wanted to write Merry Christmas or something. That would be very easy to do as well, exactly the same way. But it's a basic little demonstration. We could print this out and then um, maybe we could paint it or color it in ourselves um, to add a little bit of decoration to it. But it's a unique one-off um, 3D printed Christmas decoration and I hope that's useful. Thanks very much.